Hello everyone, FunchinX here. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Skyblock episode 20! <laughs> Today we are going to get as far as we can with getting an alloy smelter. I'm not sure we're going to get all the way because there is a lot going on to build one, but we might get there. Um, let's get started. We've got uh, a lot of stuff prepped. Hopefully it gets me going here. Um, so the first thing I think I'd like to go with is the IC2 machines. So we need um, two furnaces, but then the induction furnace is another furnace. So a total of three of these furnaces. Um, yep, lots of those. So let's go out here and grab a bunch of compressed cobble. So we can make the furnaces and then we'll uh, turn them into iron, turn them into... Yeah, the better ones. Okay. So like that. One, two, three. Perfect. All right. We're close. <laughs> Not really. All right. So the electric furnace is two redstone and circuits. So I'm going to need a bunch of redstone. And like that. Is it refined iron in the middle? No. Um, darn it. I don't remember. Oh, just regular iron plates. Okay. I can do that. One, two, three. Done. You there. Redstone and iron, iron furnaces. All right. So we've got three electric furnaces. Now, one of these we need to upgrade into the induction furnace. That's going to take a bunch of copper, which is easy, but then this advanced machine casing, uh, which takes a regular machine casing, some steel plates, some advanced alloy, and some carbon plates. Uh, I've already prepped the carbon. I made a pulverizer from TE and pulverized some coal. Got some sulfur out of the deal. And we're going to need... Oops, uh, da, da, da. two carbon plates, so that's uh, two carbon mesh, four carbon fiber, so 16, all right. That's how many we made. And then I think we just compress those. Piece of cake. You can see I did make uh, some extra culinary generators, um, but I haven't been using them because I don't have any good place to store all the power that they create. Um, but I put one down here to fill that guy up whenever I need it. I just add a little bit of uh, food. Um, if, you, if you're in a generator and you mouse over, you see how much it makes. So one extreme chili will make 126,000. The generator itself holds 100. So as long as you got room for about 25,000 of it to go somewhere, you can put in a uh, extreme chili. All right, so we got the carbon plates. Now the next thing would be the um, the alloy. And I need to get a crafting table up here. And if no, I, I was gonna say if I remember right, but no, I don't remember right. It's, there's no way. So it's uh, iron, bronze, then tin. So iron, bronze. I just made a bunch of these plates. <laughs> All right, and those go in the compressor as well. Cool. Getting there. All right. Um, and then we put the ref the steel plates around them and iron. Okay. Hopefully, I have an iron chipset somewhere. I do have the steel, the refined iron. Same thing. Come on, finish compressing. Okay. Let's check in here. I might have the iron plates. No. Please tell me I have an iron circuit somewhere. Yes, I do. Just one. Okay. You, surrounded by you guys. Okay. Now, it was those on the top. Bottom those on the sides and these in the corners. Nice advanced machine casing, electric furnace, and was it just copper? Okay, three out of 
nine done. <laughs> okay, uh, crushed obsidian. We can get that really easily. Now let's just go over there and grab some. Farm is working out great. It's all automated. I think I have like 300 uh, extreme chili right now. So one, two, three. Oh, come on. No, come on. Four. Put that in here. All right, and then we need the basic capacitor. So let's get this thermionic fabricator going. Redstone and lapis. Are you going to be done pretty quick? Yeah, I can probably just wait. Okay. Good to go. So it was uh, five lapis. Two redstone. I already got a bunch of redstone. And I'll need a little more glass just in case to melt down. Where's our fabricator? Did I put it upstairs? Hello? Fabricator? Oh, I made a sink. Everybody's like, make a sink. It's infinite water source is all it is. Um, I haven't automated putting water there, but it's easy as just doing this. Never need to use the, that guy. Um, fabricator, you must be back in the chest. There he is. Where do we want to put him? We'll put him right over here. All right, so piece of glass here. Red, red, lapis. All right, should get those for me. I've got the original chipsets, I believe. So now it's just the signalum. We can get signalum. If I remember right, yeah, we can melt redstone, copper, and silver. But this redstone will only melt in a furnace if it has pyrothium in it to melt it. So otherwise, we can use let's get those, the magma crucible. So let's go ahead and make that next. And I've already got everything ready to go, so it should be really easy. So the magma crucible. One of those. I've made a few energy frames. I got a cell frame. Nether brick. Um, that is by putting redstone in lava, I believe, to get the bricks. Is that what I remember? Yeah, netherrack. Yeah, so if you take a... a Barrel of lava, put redstone in it, you get netherrack, melt it down for a brick. So you need to do that eight times, and then some invar gears, and we get the magma crucible. That'll melt down our redstone, but now we gotta actually be able to put it in a bucket to move it around or something, so we'll need the uh, oh, fluid transposer. Yep, transposer. Okay. And that one is a bucket, some glass, machine frame, copper gears. You get the picture. All right, so we got those two machines. Got a bunch of redstone. Let's head on upstairs. Uh, these ones will want to be next to each other. I don't think I ever have to go over there for them, so let's just put them right here and here. So the magma crucible will go ahead and melt, uh, is it 10 or 4 for a bucket? Oh, there's going to be so many recipes with redstone. Oh, come on. Tell me how to make it. <laughs> there it goes. So I get, yeah, so it's 10 redstone for a one bucket. Okay, and then we will output to our right. And this one will input from the left. There we go. We want to fill bucket mode. There it goes. All right, so we got a redstone bucket. 
and again signal them liquid format um, let's see so that's three ingots and one ingot of silver all right three copper one silver silver okay let's go see if this melts down and hopefully it will we might need priorithium but I'm not sure um, I'm gonna get the liquid bucket in there hmm huh, didn't think about that <laughs> okay I need to pipe it in there I believe what I can do I have a tank, a TE tank. One of these guys. Portable tank. Copper, glass, piece of cake. Alright. Um. Go ahead and break you real quick. <laughs> put you there. Put you inside and drain. There we go. No, oh, don't go inside there. Ow. <laughs> okay, so we got our bucket of. Oh, blood is in there now. Dang it. I hate that. Um, so let's put our silver in there and three copper. I think it was three copper. Well, let's hope we get signalum. Uh, we want to make it into ingot form, which we can then turn to nuggets. Oh, I hate you, blood. I hate you. I hate you. It's gonna always be in there now. Because the only thing I can do with it is make coagulated, but I need like 180, and I'm not going to sit in there and die for that many ticks. <laughs> Alright, please combine, please combine. Yes! Four ingots of signal. Ooh, that's interesting orange color. Okay. We got our signal. What's next? I don't remember. Well, let's get all this done. That didn't seem that hard. I thought signal was a lot harder to make because you can do some pretty cool stuff with it, right? Um, maybe? I haven't seen anything cool yet. Servos. More servo crap. What? It's kind of boring. <laughs> I thought you could make really cool stuff with this. Um, so let's get nuggets here. Whatever. I'm going to leave this tank just hanging out over here in case I need it. Later. Okay, what's next? What are we making? Alley smelter. Whew, we're almost done, out of time. Um, got everything. Redstone ship sets. Make our capacitor. Okay. All those things. Now all that's left is the middle guy. So we need two more basic capacitors. Okay. Um, yeah, we need to make that. Okay. Um, another machine frame which I have, iron bars. They should have changed the recipe for that. That's really boring. This is vanilla recipe. Uh, and lumium. All right, so here's our last tricky thing, I guess. Uh, energized glowstone bucket, silver and tin. Silver, tin. 
Glowstone. I think it's only four. Let's check. Oh, I could do it in here again, couldn't I? Alright, so, yep, four glowstone. Perfect. Um, over here. You in there. Bucket in there. As soon as that's done, we'll have our bucket. And you know what? I don't have to go out to the, uh, the smeltery to make this. I could just do this. To just get the pulverized and just craft it, basically. There's no benefit to making it in this smeltery. So, sure. We'll do that. Oh my goodness, guys. Are we, are, are we done? <laughs> um, so you... You and you. Gets us our blend. I think we just smelt it anywhere. Do I not have like a redstone furnace? Huh. Yeah, I haven't made... I don't have any kind of furnace that just smelts. <laughs> okay, well let's go old school here. Just need a, what, two? Two we get to that? Wow, that was a lot of crafting, but we uh, did it. Got everything. Now we have an alley smelter. That'll unlock tons of uh, Ender I.O. stuff, which is great. I love Ender I.O. Very fond of that mod. All right, here we go. Kabam! Alley smelter, look at all the stuff that just disappeared out of the inventory. Cool. Oh, we're running out of room for a little stuff here. There we go. We should probably get a capacitor and put it in there so it can hold more and work faster. Um, but right now we can do things like uh, get an ender pearl and some iron and redstone, glowstone. Let's see, I don't remember all the recipes. Oh, gold. This one. Oh, another one of those? Fine. Yeah, now we're getting on the stuff unlocked. Okay, it was gold. Reds, not, not that much redstone. I forget how slow this is without a capacitor. <laughs> Double layer. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go for a double layer capacitor real soon here. Come on. Finish. There we go. Where's the other one? Oh, it's, it's crafting. Okay. And then put that one in there. Sweet. Ecstatic. Whoa, endstone. How do you get endstone? Oh yeah, ender pearl on sandstone. Awesome. Okay guys, well we accomplished our goal. We got the, uh, the alley smelter. It's not a huge build, but it's actually going to unlock a lot of tech for us. So we can now move forward with some of the other things we wanted to do, which I am not recalling at the moment. <laughs> um, but I think the next thing I want to do, I want to build some of the other Ender.io multi-blocks. I'm not sure if they're if we really need them, but they look really cool. So let's go ahead and build them. So uh, come back next time to see that. We'll do one of those. I, don't know, I think there's two more, at least two of the main ones that we need to build still. So until then, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Catch you later. Bye.